And just like that, we're back again. Hide and seek 2023, build day one. Let's go. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome to Hide and Seek Build 2023. It's day one, the site is coming together and as if by magic, almost a year has passed. We have moved the festival to July this year, so it's not quite 12 months, however, it's the best part of the year. And yeah, as cliche as it sounds, where does time go? For those that don't know, Hide and Seek Festival is in Cheshire at Cape Thorn Hall. You can see the beautiful hall behind me. It's run by myself, Kurt Hurst, Dan Marino and Dash Ford, also the owners of You and Me. And this is our fourth edition and yeah we're going from strength to strength and the whole thing is coming together nicely it's stressful to build but every year we're getting better and better and hopefully this year i don't have to do too much donkey work because each year we figure out uh, more efficient ways to do things and really i should be preparing my sets and things like that when it gets close to the weekend versus looking around shit here but no doubt i'll be looking around shit here because it's all fun and games but uh, like the first year we did this, I was here until like 10 p.m. last few nights and was completely crippled by the time the festival came. So anyway, this video I will share with you some moments, some fun, some excitement across the week. Hopefully we make a movie. So let's get into it. Yeah, so you see on the top of the flyer, the element of the flyway, you've got like the stairways to heaven and like the clouds and stuff like that, which is pretty much what this concept is this year. Yeah. So... They've built a 3D structure now, which behind the DJ there and the set, they'll have all them elements from the flyer all built up in a 3D set at the back, and then at the night it'll all be lit up. So as you can see there, it's like it's not just a flat thing. Yeah. And they've started building it in the warehouse already. I didn't realise. So yeah, yeah, the full set will be behind there, and then you'll have a, a video screen in the middle, which is going to have like visuals on it, which will feel like you're getting pulled into there, which is like the other dimension where you can go into another world through that screen. Yeah. And then the DJ will be stood in front of that with a silhouette. For real? But yeah, that's how it's developed since last year. Like what I was thinking, there's two things. You've got the centre line of the, the site, which comes down in, in, in the kind of a peak of that main stage. Yeah. Down this, just to the left of the centre of the hall. That's yeah. like the centre line. Like the exactly. thing is as well, when you do like a tiny little move it makes a big difference with a big structure doesn't it is that right just do the like the yeah. tiniest yeah. little bit like. this is what it's going to look like on the yeah. outside you're going to have love shack like seeing seed down the side of it that is so it's cool put little like seats out there so people can sit on the outside nice got one poles above it with wire over the top disco balls all the way along yeah it's not going to have that actual shock put the other one put the other one cool. like the so oh my there. god i'm excited <laughs> That's going to look really like good. All like timber and stuff like that. That but is going to look really good. Well, one thing I need you to do. Yeah. When I start looking on Facebook Marketplace for... I knew you'd ask me this this office. week. Why? Yeah, I told you. No, because he was going to... I've only got the van this week, anyway. Well, uh, but God, yeah. But I knew he was going to do it, but he's just... I was literally saying, he's not asking me stuff on Facebook Marketplace. Day two of the build. Grey oh, wow. skies. Yeah. But... All is good, forecast is looking sound. Yeah, there's not much for the workers to do today. The best Quiet fence day. scrimmer in Cheshire is active tomorrow. I'll be uh, overseeing operations, <laughs> as always. Day three of the build, guys. It's all coming together now. A bit of colour across the site. Me and Muzz are starting on the uh, the old fence scrim. For anyone that's watched the other years, we'll know this is our favourite thing to do, apart from moving hay bales. Um, ten trees starting to go up. Jose's over there. Um, and yeah, to be honest, it's all coming alive. So today, um, their sounds starting to go in as well. And all in all, we're looking good. So the fun job of scrim on defenses this is where the uh the kind of artist slash vip not vip but yeah i've guessed vip section is um where will be friends and things like that and the dome's there so you can access the back of the dome there'll be um hay bales there to sit on and all in all good chill spot good chill spot i am um, determined not to get stuck there the whole day trying are we getting on pal what's the update Get in there, 
but surely. Look at the state of that, beautiful. Or as Mitch would say, sensational. <laughs> you watch this, Mitch. Can't believe you're not here, pal. How long did it take you to build? A month to build? Wow. A month, six weeks. Yeah. Cut and weld, everything? Weld, everything. It took us a day to get the frames up, and it'll take us a day to do the PVC. Nice. And it'll be there. So, what's the plan of action for today? Get the roofs on, get it covered for you. Sorry. That's what the roofs are, yeah. And did it just go? Yeah, we'll just pull them up over in different sections, and then we'll have to stitch down what we can on the floor. This is our third year doing the tent tree. Nice. Um, so basically the first year Kurt came with me uh, with a design of what he kind of wanted and uh, he sent me the design and the inspiration and I kind of looked at it and I thought okay cool we'll beef this up and um, you know we'll kind of put our own little spin on it and uh, we did that for the first year and then the second year um, I said to Kurt I said hey about how about like kind of let me take control of this I've got a really cool design it's um, I've envisioned it so I got uh, my architect to put it into 3D render, sent it to Kurt, he really liked the design straight away, he didn't want to change anything, he said let's just do that, let's do your design, let's do your idea. Um, so we went with it and when I actually built it, it was exact to what I designed in the CAD. So it was like exactly, if you look on the Instagram, I put it up in my CAD render and then what it looked like and it's exact to the uh, spec of it, it's really cool to see it come to life. Nice! And how are you feeling this year? It's uh, Wednesday. I'm feeling great. This know? is it at the moment. So Wednesday, yeah, we've got what two days to go. So two days to go. I mean, there's only two of you as well. We're a bit under the huh? cosh. There's two of us, but no, I think we'll be fine. You know, we built it. We built it before. What are the lads up to today? Then what's the plan? So we're just going to get everything up and then probably spend two, three hours filling, sanding, making sure everything's seamless, um, everything's safe. Yeah, we're doing. We've got our hands on pretty much most of it, but. Um, Love Shack's another one where we want it to feel like a CD student garden party. So, uh, yeah, like a little hidden den where you go on your, your first day to waffle on. They all gone sog and wet. Yeah, yeah, get them in. <laughs> get them ready with that. <laughs> it seemed like we're ahead of schedule, but don't want to speak too soon. But all the structures are in now, apart from ten tree. Yeah. Ten trees, just halfway up. I think they had a nightmare getting here. But all the other structures are up. The TPs are all up. The dome, contour, all the staging is just going inside of them now. So rain's starting to come down. So this is where it gets exciting. No stress this time, but nerves are kicking in. Definitely. They always start kicking in. I was fine yesterday, and then all of a sudden this morning when I'm getting pulled from pillar to post, it's starting to heat up. Yeah, so the weather gets better tomorrow, luckily, but then all the sound and light have just been delivered, but they won't start getting ripped until tomorrow. So when that starts going in tomorrow, that's when you start seeing things actually come, come to life. Yeah. But with the main stage now, with that new stage set going in, that's just starting to take shape now, so we'll be able to, hopefully by the end of the day, we'll have like a visual of what that's going to look like, which is something we've changed from last time. But And then stage and light, so classic British weather has ambushed us. Luckily, there's two days to go and the forecast is sunny tomorrow, so there's no reason to panic. We are uh, leaving site 4.30 p.m. Done a good few hours today to be fair, but the rain has killed the vibe a bit in terms of, uh, you know, enjoying the work and all that, but... Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, we're getting there. My man thinks it's funny taking a picture of me. Um, so yeah, tomorrow the volunteers are as well that are helping out. So straight on the fencing. The main stage is looking sick because we've got this new little thing. And yeah, shit's happening, shit's moving. Tonight I'm going to start preparing for my set properly as well, so... You know what I'm saying? Ain't no plans with a man. The A's and Loke is down with the ladies.
day four of the build. As you can see, I'm now putting my cable cutting ties to good use. Can't ever find a professional at it, but I'm getting it done. So today, the letters are getting sprayed. They're out just behind you. Um, the speakers are going in. I just did a little sound check on the contour. And yeah, we're aiming to try and get everything done today, which is like this kind of shit because it's not fun and tomorrow I want to be able to enjoy it. However, I highly suspect tomorrow I'll be doing shit like this. Um, I'm here till 10 p.m., but hopefully not. So, we've got some volunteers helping out. We've got my sidekick through there, Moz, if you can see him through that. <laughs> and yeah, we've got approximately 45 minutes until bacon butty time. So, I'll see you there. Yeah. Hey MTV, welcome to my crib. No, let's not do that. Hi, this is Imogen. I'm gonna give you a cheeky tour of what we are doing so far at Hide and Seek. go! Contour, Biggie Stage, we've got Rossi, Sweeley, Josh Baker, Local Dub, Laidlaw, and you can see our beautiful capes on hall in the background. Dome, be doming. We've got so many more lights this year. These are gonna hang beautifully down. It's gonna be a little tropical paradise. I'm actually here all day. They kept requesting coming out of the gym back to back with Imogen, so. <laughs> back to back with So, surprise, guys. Anyone who's playing it. <laughs> This is the love shack. It's gonna be loads like disco balls. Yeah, this is where local and new talent are coming to perform, which is really cool. Something we like to showcase to our hide and seek family. But this is gonna be a really cool place. And it's really intimate. And the sun's gonna bounce off the hay bales. That's so cringe. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah. And this is Pentry. Not finished, but guessing there. <laughs> Try the harder side. Well, Try harder! It looks unreal. This is literally blew up. I can't believe it. Quick and efficient. Nothing but the best. So, this is the new stage. The creme de la creme. This is the gateway. It looks pretty snazzy. So, that is the end of the tour. Look. Welcome to the gateway. Watch how good I am at this. No satisfaction.